Hello everyone, Jeff here. Welcome back to Brotato. So I'm really determined to get this Psychic UAV thing to work. So what we're going to do is play Psychic, but we're not going to play Wholesaler. We're going to play Shield uh, Generator Modifier. I forget the name of the character. We'll have to look. And we're going to use the remote controls. Shield Modifier. Anyway, so if you've seen my channel recently, you know what Psychic does. You start off kind of nerfed with very low XP gain and XP mods down. And you only start with two weapon slots, but you get a slot every time you level up. So it makes the early game a lot harder, but it makes the late game crazy and very fun. And then shield modifier. What this does is it creates a, basically a damaging aura um, around any of your structures. And then gives you HP regen for every shelter um, you have. I think you have to be standing in it. I'm not sure. For every shelter from force fields you have. Maybe you don't. I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. And you start with the Wonderbot and you take a damage per second. So that's that's what's happening here. So as you can see, we have this little rotating aura. We played this build, uh, this character not too long ago, but we didn't. We have definitely not tried it with psychic, which would mean more structures with uh, remote controls, right? And I don't think, um, you know, I don't think only being able to buy a few at the time is going to be a problem. It's going to take max HP. It doesn't really matter. So all we really want is these things. This, this, steel, this. Well, I don't know if we could have had a better first wave or a better first shop. That was um, kind of nuts, actually, <laughs> like the steel into the extra weapon at the beginning plus the fact that we have a pencil sitting um just like chilling there for us kind of good and as you can see instead of the uavs you know only hitting where they are we're gonna hit um everything i probably shouldn't have done that probably should have just bought that but maybe we'll see another one it's whatever the thing with the thing with the remote controls right is Getting a blue one is about the same as getting another one entirely. Unlike other weapons, we're getting a new weapon entirely is typically better than upgrading. Uh, UAVs don't exactly work that way because it just adds more UAVs. So my goal here is to basically make a massive aura that covers the entire screen and um, everything just succumbs to that. I'm going to take an armor. I'm going to take two engineering. We're going to take engineering whenever we see it, right? We have two slots. And we get two weapons. Okay, good to go. <laughs> now again, we have... So we have 55 HP regen right now. Kind of dumb, honestly. That's a lot. Um, <laughs> at this wave you'd really have to basically just stand in their attacks to die now last time we were doing this i managed to you know get ourselves uh unalived by uh by smacking enemies into my path somehow which seems outrageous but it it's what happened um, i'm not gonna take weird ghosts because that's a good way to lose and we're just going to look for basically remote controls, engineering, and we're also going to take coffee. Now, coffee doesn't do anything now, but ideally at some point we find improved tools. And if we find improved tools, uh, our attack speed will matter. So coffee is like the one attack speed item I'm excited to take, basically because our percent damage doesn't matter, right? So we can just and coffee's already a top tier item just based on the fact that like the actual value you get from it, especially early game, 10% attack speed is just a lot better than 2% damage and it's cost efficient. So there's really no reason not to get it on like most builds anyway. Uh, nope. And I can take luck, I guess. A better chance of finding better. $69 remote control. Don't ask if I don't 
Don't mind if I do. That's the one. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure a $69 remote control is used for something. I don't know what, um, but I'm sure you could do something. And we're gonna be making making like little uh, little game art here with our little patterns and whatnot. We do need more engineering. That is that is a thing because similar to the other build, if you you know if we're just hitting for six a time, that's just not gonna cut it, right? Enemies are just gonna survive that. I guess the other thing we need is range up because range is gonna affect the area of our uh, aura around each structure. So that's also important. I need, I kind of forgot about that. So the level up screen is like range. I don't care about infect. It's none of these. It's also no damage. Here, take engineering. All right, Ugly Tooth is great, um, pretty obviously. Again, coffee serves a very specific purpose. We could take Broken Mouth. And yeah, we're gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna get range up because we notice our HP regen is still at 55 and that's because we're not, it, you do have to be in the range of the, sh of the aura, which I, that was a thing I couldn't remember. So, Range up, engineering, and then like defensive stats basically is all we care about. We look ridiculous, but that's okay. You could say that I have made the, um, the, uh, I'm playing the shield generator character because he's in a spacesuit and Starfield like early access or whatever start today. Um, I applied for a game key to see if I get it as concrete content creator thing. I don't know if I'll get one. I did it super late. So we'll see. Hopefully I do. But if not, it's fine. I'll probably buy it anyway. Um, anyways, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. This is kind of the benefit of being tagged for structures as well. Like we're seeing we're so likely to see things that we already want anyway. We're kind of just, kind of just stomping right now. Now, normally Psychic has a, like a fairly hard time early on uh, with, you know, the average character or any other character who's bad early on, but this guy just, this guy has a lot going for him. For him. I guess we could try to get XP up too, so we can have more stuff. But I think really range is what we're missing. I probably passed glasses early on. Now that I think about it, um, not range damage game. Uh, do we even care about dodge? Not really. Ew. Um, engineering. I would like to no, not ancient artifact. That's bad. I'll take a revamp. Essentially a weapon. I will take a banner. Bottomless pit kind of makes sense. We heal constantly. OK. I mean, every time we heal, we deal damage based on our HP regen, right? Which is so we deal 11 every time we heal. That's not bad. We are just straight up a buzzsaw, though. This is this is not good. You don't yeah. look, don't walk into the blade barrier, right? But like, how often do you guys play a campaign where you like get to the blade barrier? I feel like with all I, I'm on the like Baldur's Gate 3 Reddit a bit. I feel like people downplay Cleric a little too much. I, I finished my first playthrough. Uh, I'm going to do a like a review of it here. I haven't done a review on this channel before, so I have to figure out how I'm going to do it format wise. But um, I'm finished my first playthrough and I'm halfway through my second. And I kind of want to get my thoughts because it's um, it's a special game. I should have taken battery. That was. 
minor mistake. Okay, engineering, it's made up for it. Let's skip all of these and skip all of these. Clip. Uh, I don't really want the insect turret. It's not really like we kind of want to stay on theme. It's important to these runs. There's a remote control. Thank you. Thank you, game. Oh, uh, take Gabriel's gloves. 15 harvesting, five luck. Yeah, why not? Anyways, as I was saying, Baldur's Gate 3. Um, at the end game, Shadowheart did work as a Tempest Cleric. Like, you hit the enemies with wet, you use Call Lightning as like a six level spell. Uh, I had her with Warcaster, so she had advantage on her concentration saving throws. Boom. Uh, and the item that makes it so enemies don't resist that element or whatever. I forget what it was called. Anyways, she was just taking out everybody. Everybody constantly. Not to mention being able to pick people up with healing word is dumb. It's dumb. They're a little they're a little weak early on. I get that. But afterwards, it's so good. Don't know what I was talking about. OK, uh, poison mark. Nah, nah. Engineering. Yes, yes. I went on a little tangent there. Uh, um, I don't know. I just love that game. Ooh, Tonkila. Special enemies. We do 80% less damage. I don't really, I don't really care. Um, I guess the downside of that was range down. Wish list. Put me on the wish list. All right, I think we're good here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna poke at him a bunch till he dies. Oh, I haven't done. So I'm doing this new thing. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's video where I'm slandering Diablo 4. Uh, Every, every video until until a new game comes out that deserves the slander. Um, can we talk about how the loot in Baldur's Gate 3 was literally better than the loot in Diablo 4, which is an action RPG based on loot that has worse loot than Last Epoch and PoE. Now, it's not fair to compare it exactly to PoE because it's been around a while, but Last Epoch is just a strictly better game. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All right, we got my Diablo 4 slander out of the way. It's It felt necessary, but um, yeah, there we are. Anyways, if you're liking the video, don't forget to comment and subscribe and like and all that stuff. The commenting really helps the algorithm and whatnot boost the channel up so I can bring you guys more games. I actually just got a copy of Not Under Zombie Survivors, which I played a run of, and I thought I was supposed to buy Wishlist first. Oh, well. And I really enjoyed my first run of that game. So uh, there's going to be some content for that here soon. Quite soon, but I also have to like continue with Hades. I don't remember if Silver Bullet works on engineering. I'm going to just assume it doesn't and move on with my life. I would like this banner. Okay. So yeah, I got things cooking. All right, we're we're getting a little little bigger, a little bigger. I want it to, I want it to encompass the entire map, and not just like the screen. Before wave twenty, so we're definitely gonna need more range. I guess banner is a really good item for us, especially if when we hit improve tools. Not if, when. It's very important that we make it clear that we are going to get it, so that the game is aware that that's going to happen. Oh my God, I remember when I was like a teenager, my mother like made me and my sister watch this stupid video that was like, I can't remember what it was called. I'm sure some of y'all remember. It was basically like willing what you want to happen into existence and talking about like willing into the universe or some shit. It's total nonsense, such bullshit, but but when it comes to games, it kind of works. <laughs> sometimes, 
sometimes you just make your own luck. Oh, I will take a magic mirror. Thank you. Um, actually, that's good. Oh, we can end at 69. That's what it is. I mean, that's what the video should have been about. Been about, you know, making things happen. But it wasn't about making things. You know, you make you make your own luck. You put yourself in a position for better things. Instead, it was a video of just like, mm, if I really want it to happen, it'll happen. It's like, mm, I really want to win the lottery. If I want it enough, I'll get it. That's not how the world works. Fuck, I wish I could remember the name of it. Oh, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. And I know some of you had to have seen it. Like, there's no way I'm the only one who grew up with the... Uh, uh, I'm not going to slander my parents. But you, you guys know. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, that brought back some memories. I hadn't thought about that in a long time. Uh, very intentionally. It was like an hour and a half. I remember just like, oh, this is, this is miserable. Um, do we take three armor here? Probably. Oh, no, we're slow. Let's just take some speed. Not that we're going to need it, because ideally we're just going to be standing still most of the time, but whatever. Oh, band tape. Pretty good. Pretty good item there. I guess we take metal too. It's fine. Another remote control. That's 17 now. What's our HP regen? 54. That's really not that much. Huh. It's actually gone down. So... We need more range. For sure. I don't think I mentioned at the beginning. So the characters, uh, psychics for e the ENT, ENT mod, I can't say it. And the shield modifier is from Violet Aesthetics, if you're looking to play it. Also, I've added a channel on my Discord that shows all these mods and links to them to make that easier for you guys, because I know I'm not always going to update it in the video description so if you want to see it just hit up the just join the discord or whatever it's chill we're not insanely active but there are people there and talk about rotato and whatnot we don't ping people constantly uh give me the warrior helmet give me i guess max hp i don't know i should have just taken range i don't know what i'm doing um well i know i'm taking this I know I'm taking that. And the severed hand would be cute, but we don't really need it. Community support. All right. Oh, cog is really good. I'm going to take community support because when we get that. Oh, we got a circle now. Nice. When we get some, um, you know, improved tools, it's going to be great. You know, I thought about it. I thought about it. It took me like, you know, 10 seconds to process or whatever. How is that going to be good if we have an aura that clears the entire screen? What, like, what good is that? There's not going to be any enemies to give us with decreased attack speed. I guess there's an argument for getting it out of the shop, but like, yeah, not so great. I might have to take this one to endless. Just to like see how far it can go because we're already on wave 15 and there's a lot of items I still want. We need a lot of range up to get to where I really want this to go. Maybe I'll make like a little short after it. 10% uh, attack speed. Thank you. Re engineering. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't. I'm, I'm going to take it to get out of the shop, but that's about it. It's remote control band tape. Really just want a lot of band tape, honestly. Really shouldn't be getting knockback either. Could I have some range, please? Suspicious coupon. I'm I'm down with that. It is just it is just death right now. <laughs> it's so stupid. This is so stupid. 
sometimes you just get your righteous fire build already built. And the One Piece anime or live action comes out today. Exciting. Exciting. I hope it's good. I'm current on the manga and it's incredible, but like there's something different about live action. It's normally worse, but it would be really good to see a live action show actually turn out to be good for once and not just complete. Um, complete trash. Uh, I'm talking about you Death Note live action, not the Japanese version. I think it was very good. I'm talking about the American version, which was um, truly one of the worst things I've ever seen. Like, genuinely upsetting. Rain. I take a book. Sure. Range. No. Range. If I keep saying it, it'll work. Range. That's range down. That's the wrong way. Okay. Well, if we can't get more range up, we can just get more UAVs. Um, it's a lot of damage numbers. See, this is the build I need in Diablo 4, right? I need a aura build where I can just walk around and kill things, but it doesn't exist because it's a stupid fucking game. Okay. Okay. Now that's enough of the Diablo 4 slander for this video. More tomorrow. It's... <laughs> Oh, I, I enjoy that greatly. It's the little things in life, you know. And honestly, after paying for the game, I feel like I, I have the right to talk poorly about it. And playing, I played it a lot. I enjoyed the campaign. So there's that. Uh, No wisdom. We don't need that here. This is not a place for wisdom. We'll take a range, though. Take a battery. Um, wave 18, there's an elite. I'm so frightened by him. So frightened. If he actually killed me here, that would be a little bit embarrassing. But I think we're going to be all right. I wonder how much range I've actually missed over the course of this run. Um, I almost want to take a whetstone to get rid of some knockback, but it's fine. Hey, it's the crocodile. Hey, he's dead. He's completely dead. Maybe I'm good against fighting him because I live in Florida. So I'm aware of like the danger. I mean, we have alligators. I don't know. I guess there's crocodiles like in the Everglades, but it, around here it's all alligators. There's not that big a difference, realistically. As turn as far as threats go, I guess. I used to play golf with my dad, and and when I was a like early teens at like a in a very small town. It had like a creek going through it and you'd see gators all over the, the course. It's a very normal thing. And you're just like, okay, just don't, don't mess with them and uh, you'll be fine. It's kind of like that scene from Happy Gilmore, except you don't try to pull, pull the ball out of the gator's mouth. You just kind of let it happen, right? Poor chubs. Didn't need to go that way. A red one, huh? All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, whatever the limit is on UAVs, I feel like we're approaching it. I feel like they're kind of overlapping on the outskirts. We still have 54 region, which means that we still are very bad with our range. How much do it, does it scale with? 50% of our range. So we need, yeah, we need a lot.
But the the outskirts of our barrier is similar to like some type of torture device from a Saw movie, I would say. Or that scene from the first Resident Evil movie where where the lasers happen. Which is kind of a wild scene, honestly. First time you see it. Spoilers, uh, they don't make it. The lasers kill them. It's a good time though. It's a good it's a good fun movie. I think it's actually I think actually the first Resident Evil movie. Unironically not terrible. I'm really just searching for range here. 45. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll buy those, obviously. Banner. Another remote control. Okay, I'm going to click Endless because I want to see how far we could push this. I feel like we're not going to do amazing against these bosses. Like, we could literally die here. Uh, mostly because my visibility is very, very bad. Okay, well, instead of dying, we just killed everything. But look, we could have died here. We only have... Oh, now we have 94 regen. Okay, that's a little bit better. Never mind. Never mind. We have, like, no chance of dying. I think at 55, we could have. Um, just not being able to see the uh, red things on the ground very well. In tandem with... Uh, you know, we don't have a ton of armor. It's possible. I feel like we failed in the sense that we've swung four times with our weapons, which means things have gotten close to us, which is not what we're after. So we'll have to see. Um, it just doesn't do anything. Like, I don't... All right, the uh, exoskeleton does do things. Again, we're going to look for range. I rolled past it. Everything's awful. OK, we got it back again. <laughs> and then, uh, well, you know, we're only 27 minutes in. We're going to do a little bit past wave 20 just for this video and see what we could do here. Just a little bit, you know. For the sake of seeing the possibilities, oh, we lost the lotto. That's that's unfortunate, honestly. All right, we got a little bit of range up there. We've now got 137 HP regen. It's pretty good. I don't know how far I'm going to take this. I just want to see how what we can do. You know, we're at wave 21. Let me do a little bit more. Like, how much range do we actually need? Uh, I think that we've hit the barrier on, like, how far out the UAVs will go. So that's, like, another issue. Right, so we would need a lot of range to cover the entire screen. We don't necessarily have an amazing, like, any kind of, like, income situation going on. <laughs> Things are just exploding. We had 999. That's not bad. All right. We're going to take this and baby gecko is range and pick up. That's pretty good. Uh, nope. Uh, now I'll take a penny. Another remote control. That's fine. Again, another remote control is fine. Compass is obviously good. Another remote control. We have some elites to deal with. They all fall in unison. Kind of as expected. It's just the aura is not big enough yet. It's not it's not the entire screen. Maybe if I OK, maybe if I was playing on a smaller monitor, it would work. Is that is that how the game works? If I played a smaller monitor, I don't think that's how resolution works at all. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think we're... I think we're a little close to where we want to be, but I'm just not quite there yet. A 
But this is what I was kind of after with the other build, with the uh, Psychic Wholesaler. We roll for range. That's really all we care about. Um, also, we haven't gotten... Uh, wow, this sucks. 45. All right, not bad. I guess we'll take plus two engineering every wave. Why not? We haven't gotten improved tools, which is kind of sad. Uh, give me the membership card, actually. Yeah, where's our improved tools? This is nonsense. Holy crap. We do have a wonder bot, don't we? We do. I totally forgot. Legit. Completely forgot that existed. Um, things are not doing well, I would say. The aliens are having a, a really bad time here. We are the hurricane. Except typically the eye of the storm, you know, there's like some calm and whatnot, but instead we're like literally... It's not like that. So I don't I don't know what you're supposed to do. I think you're just supposed to get out of the way. The alien somebody should have told the aliens to evacuate. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling right now. Can we have range? Okay. I'll take it. Without having to roll a bunch. Um I would like to not have to roll a bunch here either. I don't even care about ultra mush, honestly. We're here for one thing and one thing only. Range. <laughs> yeah, okay. Next set of elites. We gotta wait for our items to spawn. Our items, our aura. Okay, okay. You know, it takes it takes a while for the hurricane to like beat down a powerful building, and that's what that's what happened. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think I've lost the narrative. Well, See, I just want to like fill in the circles, right? Because I feel like we have too much like in between time. So if I could just get improved tools or a lot more range. I think if we got improved tools, that would be fine too. Because this, the amount of attack speed we'll have will make up for the difference. But 74. Oh, it's there. I did it. I willed it into existence. All right. Now we can, now we can end the video after seeing the results of this range um any more range to give me any more no i don't think this has range on it i'm just gonna take it whatever all right wave 25 let's go uh here they go oh they're moving it's not quite where i want it to be yet but it's close look at the look at the inner wall This is, this is just wonderful. Oh man. What a fantastic build. We just stand still. I don't even know why I'm moving. I guess I was doing it to pick up materials, right? Let the, let the blade alien spawn. See them attempt to come to me. Oh, fantastic. I love potato. What a genius game. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all liked it. If you want to see more of this, let me know. But um, I think we kind of we kind of got the hint here. Eventually, this will fall off and won't work because of damage scaling. But that's whatever. But yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff. And have a great day. I'll see you next time. Jeff out. Bye.